I was born January 17, 1910, to Frida and Alfred Cram. Mama took me everywhere. My brother Ernest was born in 1912 and my sister Elizabeth in 1913. Ernest would follow me everywhere. We saw Aunt Emma frequently. We wore masks during the flu pandemic of 1918. My cat didn't mind being on a leash. Douglas was born in 1919. Our parents were religious people. I always went to Sunday school. Papa took us fishing. Papa helped me climb rocks. I turned 15 in January 1925 and received many gifts. One was this diary. I continued writing a diary for the next eight years. My first entry was about delivering newspapers. I worked for Ray Crothers. I also wrote about driving Mama and the family everywhere. I was active in Boy Scouting 
and belonged to the Pine Tree Patrol. These were older boys. Today they would be called Explorer Scouts. Milton Harris, Jack Kernow, Jack Kurtz, and I were active members. Mama and Papa would write me when I was away at scout camp. Mama reminded me to read my Bible. Look around and oh what a home sweet home you will see. Think of someone if you can, saying that here I am. That's my Jack Kurtz and other scouts. Elizabeth would write me too. She described herself as your boring sister. August 7th, 1925. I shaved myself for the first time and used a well-sharpened pocket knife as a razor. I nearly have a beard now. In August 1925, I developed an interest in girls. My diary says, August 11th had a fine time dancing. August 12th, girls are interesting. August 15th, dancing is scientific fun. And August 20th, girls are amusing. October 10th, 1925. Nine airplanes came to Grass Valley. I went up to the airfield and noted a 12-cylinder engine on one of them. During 1925, I concluded my diary each day with a summary statement called Cram Thinks. It turns out that these thoughts were precursor to my philosophy of life. In 1994, my wife Margaret asked our son Kenneth to type this philosophy into a list. A few of these follow. Continued stories should not be read until it's all there. True friends are thoughtful. Many things may be made worse by auditions. A quiet conversation is more pleasant than boisterous action. False emotions gain no credit. Nothing is accomplished without work. Satisfaction is before money. Grease is safe under fingernails, usually. If you don't make a beginning, you will never make an ending. Personalities are a big part of the game of life. You don't get anywhere if you don't dig in and do it. Friendships matured during the next two years in high school. I developed a close relationship with my sister Elizabeth. I 
I drove my friend Rose around Grass Valley. Ernest and I enjoyed swimming throughout the summer. I spent a lot of time finding repair parts for our old Ford. I enjoyed playing the ukulele. January 2nd, 1927. Pop announced at noon today that he decided to sell the car because it was getting too old, was too much expense, and because there was always a danger of wrecks. Mom felt quite disturbed about the previous resolution, but had to concur. I am to clean up the car tomorrow for sale. I guess that the next car that is gotten will be absolutely mine. I was now a senior at Grass Valley High School. I was on the staff that produced the 1927 Stray Leaves yearbook. The staff are in this picture. I'm in the center with an X over my head. Many entries in my diary mention pictures. For example, February 17, 1927. I'm drawing Mrs. Terry McGovern. She looks like Frances Perkins. February 18. I drew on my picture today. I nearly have it completed now. February 19th. I finished my picture and shellacked the surface to preserve it. Isn't she beautiful? I had a mustache for a while. Upon graduation, it was donated as part of the class will to Emmett Pierce, a lower classman. My senior class picture minus the mustache. I was valedictorian, senior class treasurer, earned scholarship 16 times, and was on the Stray Leaves staff. The yearbook says that he's done just all that he can. Grass Valley High School Student Body Officers Having fun on graduation day. My friend Jack Kurtz and I reminisced about the good times we had growing up together.